In the second part of the lab for creating histograms from CDC data, I want to create a similar histogram for the, from the one that I've done here for both smokers and non-smokers, just to see if there's any difference in BMI uh, between smokers and non-smokers. And the first task that uh, well, let me let me look at uh, some information first about uh, uh, smokers and non-smokers. I know that uh, that one here means that uh, someone is a smoker, and so the, there are about 9,400 people in the data set who uh, are smokers, and about 10,500 who are non-smokers. Uh, what I want and what I'd like to do is, uh, or what I need to do is uh, uh, subset this into um, two separate objects. The first one is going to be a subset uh, for smokers, and uh, you can do that with this command. I'm going to create an object called smokers. That's a subset of CD of the CDC data for those people whose value on the smoke 100 variable is equal to one. And notice that I have to use the double equal signs here to for the subset command to work. Um, that's pretty straightforward. And then I'll take a look at uh, um, at. Yeah, well, you can see that Smokers has the 9,441 9, observations. It has all nine variables. Um, I need to create BMI just for Smokers. So I'm going to create uh, another variable here, BMI.S, that's equal to the weight of Smoker, uh, lo looking just at the uh, 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 data frame for smokers. Uh, I'm going to look at the weight of all of the smoker for each of the smokers and divided by the height squared in inches of each of the smokers times uh, 703. So I have another BMI here that's just for those 9,441 9, observations. Um, I can, I already have this uh, histogram set up with 40 breaks and uh, set the uh, 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 range for the x-axis and the y-axis. I set the color and the title, etc. Um, the one thing, I'll, the one thing I'm going to need to do here is change the title um, so it is for smokers. Um, and uh, uh, one other thing that I changed here was the uh, Y limit, the length of the Y axis from 5,000. I changed it to 2,500. Uh, the only other thing that I changed on this is the, uh, it's the distribution of smokers by body mass index. So histogram with that BMI.S variable that I created still breaks equal 40. The, the uh, range for the y-axis, or sorry, x-axis is still 10 to 80. The range for the y-axis is 0 to 2,500, same color I used before. Uh, change the title for pe it, from people to smokers, and that's really it. Um, so that's uh, th this is what the uh, uh, histogram for BMI of smokers looks like, and uh, I will make a quick. Uh, I need to do exactly the same kind of thing for non-smokers now. So non-smokers, you can see that this uh, I have the subset uh, of CDC when the smoke variable is equal to zero. And I'm going to have to create uh, BMI for non-smokers, and I'm going to call that BMI.n. And you can see that BMI.n, there's uh, 10,559 um, uh, people in that. And uh, when I run the uh, histogram as before with 40 breaks, 0 to 2,500, um, 10 to 80, um, the, uh, this looks uh, exceptionally different from the preceding one. And uh, so what I'm going to do there is uh, reduce the number of bins to, in this case, 20, and that actually works out. So it's similar to that one. So here's the BMI for, or the distribution of BMI for smokers. And here it is for non-smokers, so it looks uh, fairly similar. Now, one last thing that I want to do is I'll show you how to copy and paste these into Word. So I'm going to pause for a moment. 
Okay, so um, I'm going to copy and paste these uh, uh, histograms into Word. It's relatively easy to do with our studio. Go in the uh, plots um, in the uh, plots tab here, hit at export and simply copy it to the clipboard and you'll notice that uh, it comes out uh, um, exactly as you see it on the screen there. There's one thing I'm going to change. I want to change the height to 400 just to show you what will happen here and I'll hit, uh, I'm not going to hit maintain aspect ratio and I'll hit update preview and notice that uh, it is now a little bit taller and you can see that this clearly runs from 0 to 2500 uh, marked at every uh, 500. So I'll simply copy that plot and then switch over to Word and paste. And you'll see that I have that uh, picture in there. I have my histogram in there now. I'll go back to our studio and uh, get the one for uh, smokers, exactly the same thing. Copy it to the clipboard. I'll change this to 400 um, and update the preview. I'll copy that, go back over to Word and paste that in. And I've got now my two plots for smokers and non-smokers, my two histograms for smokers and non-smokers. And uh, about the only thing that I can see here is that uh, BMI for non-smokers is actually looks like a little bit uh, 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 below, a little bit more below the median than it is for smokers. Indeed, notice the person who has the 73 <laughs> BMI is actually a smoker, and the highest value for a non-smoker on BMI is about 66. Anyway, that is um, what we need to do to create uh, um, to create histograms for comparative purposes um, in R.